What is the difference between delete and truncate query in SQL? Delete and truncate, both of the queries are used to remove the data from the table. The delete query is used to delete specific record from the table. For example, if student table has 5 records and we want to delete the student with id is equal to 5, then we will use delete query. Queries in SQL are way of talking to database. So for deleting something from the table, we just have to tell the database that which record we want to delete. So query for deleting a data from a table is delete from student where id is equal to 5. In this query, student is a name of a table and id is equal to 5 is a condition that tells the database which record to delete. If you execute a delete command without where operation, then it will delete all the records from table. But deleting all the records from table using delete command is slow. Here, truncate query comes into the picture. Truncate query is faster than delete query. Truncate query will remove all the records from table. So delete query deletes the record row by row. And truncate query deletes the records in pages. That's why truncate query is faster than delete query. Another reason why truncate query is faster is that it doesn't allow rollback operation. Meaning, once data is deleted, you cannot recover it. On other hand, delete commands allows rollback operation. Meaning, when it deletes some record, it deletes the record and it takes some time to store some data for performing the rollback operation. That's why truncate command is faster than delete command. That's it for today's video. Follow my channel for more such videos.